guys, Witty here, back again with episode 5 of the Survival Series. So, in our last episode, we built this amazing villager breeder, and they've been pumping out villagers by the second. I would want you guys to look at this. I mean, it's... <laughs> it's insane. I wonder if there's any cats in here. I don't think I don't think there's any cats in here yet. These guys have really just been kind of doing the job. Uh, this guy hasn't converted because I put barrels here. This guy hasn't turned into a farmer, um, and they, he doesn't really need to. Also, the traveling merchant came back, and we got the sticky piston. Uh, I had to place another block over here, so that way it blocks off the middle bed, so the baby villager can't actually sleep here. So they're actually, I've actually stopped them from breeding for now. So what are we doing today? It's a very good question. Uh, today, we are doing the Fletcher's Workshop. I marked a little area uh, where we're going to put the house. Uh, we got to clear a lot more of these trees over here. Uh, so we can do that. So I'm probably planning to do a big time lapse of this. Um, I'm not really going to be too keen on commentating uh, when I build this, so I'm just going to do a massive time lapse on Replug Mod instead. Uh, and it's going to be a two story Nordic house, and there's going to be a little archery shooting range attached to the house, so it's going to look really, really cool. I already have this pre built on my test world, so I just have to build it on my uh, survival world. I think I have all the materials needed uh, once I get all the spruce wood over here. I should also preference and explain uh, why we're making the Fletcher's workshop today, is because uh, the Fletcher gives us the stick tray. Well, well, that's if you get a Fletcher that has the stick tray, which is. It's, it's about 50% if, uh, once, once he converts over to a Fletcher. So we just have, we just have to get kind of lucky. But yeah, the stick trade is going to give us a bunch of emeralds, uh, so that way we can buy a whole bunch of ender pearls. If not, if, uh, we get a Fletcher that ends up with the flint trade, um, we have to level him up, so that way he eventually gets to the string trade. Um, and it's basically the same thing. I have a lot of string. You only have to have like 14 string to get one emerald. So uh, it, the Fletcher, the Fletcher is like the best villager in the entire game, and we need to we need to also have one. I actually, had a Fletcher in this village somewhere, and I don't know. I, I can't really find him anywhere. He lived in this house right here. There's a Fletcher's table, uh, like right here. And he just, he lived in this house for like the longest time, and then he just kind of disappeared. And then I had a weaponsmith living right here, and then he also disappeared. I need to destroy most of these houses as well. I'm gonna do it, I don't want to do it this episode, but I'll probably do it whenever I decide to make the weaponsmith, which will just kind of be this big area right here. The stick trade is basically 32 sticks for one emerald. Another reason why we're building the workshop is that I'm highly skilled with the bow in PvP, and um, it's just my curse. A lot of people don't like me for it, but um, that's just the way it is. But yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. So my chest plate, pants, and boots <laughs> are all about to break, and I need new armor pieces, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. So while I've been off camera, a lot of diamond mining, I had about 20 diamonds in this chest, and uh, we found about uh, a stack in 18 diamonds, thanks to our fortune pickaxe. So as you're aware, last episode we made a diamond helmet with only unbreaking three on it, um, and I wanna make another helmet, and then eventually combine it enchant our full diamond armor oh, look at that this looks beautiful put it in this chest for now all right uh, we got all the way to level 42 and we're gonna enchant all of this on the new helmet yeah, it's all right. Chest plate. Meh. 
Pants. Only protection three. Hmm. Boots. It's looking promising. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Blast protection four is gonna be good for the dragon fight at least. I need a new chest plate though. And the boots were the highlight of this whole armor set. It's got full diamond armor, dude. Let's go. So now that we have our full diamond armor, uh, we can start on the Fletcher's workshop uh, for this episode. So I'm all set up in terms of materials to build this thing, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna get started on this Fletcher's workshop. Um, and I'll see you guys when I finish it, so enjoy the time lapse. So we're finally done the entire build, and I, I really like this thing, like, a lot. So for weeks on end, I didn't actually have the slightest idea of how to actually build this thing until I started looking at a couple pictures on uh, Google Images of, like, old medieval houses and stuff. So then I kind of got a general of idea of what I wanted to kind of build for my Fletcher's workshop. I like this build concept. I kind of also want to use it for some of my future builds. It kind of has this medieval uh, Nordic uh, style, and I also just kind of want to just keep using this. I mean, this is just fantastic. So the only thing left to do now is to lure one of these guys into here. So we actually used rails this time, instead of the boats. It's actually more efficient. Um, it was a complete stressful process getting 
him inside the minecart, but we lowered one up here, so hopefully by the next morning you'll have the stick trade. Oh, here we go. Yeah, buddy. You have the stick trade? Oh my god, he has the stick trade! We actually chanced it perfectly, yes! Oh, I'm so sorry. Alright, let's make our villager friend happy since I just randomly punched him. There we go. Are you happy? Surprisingly, I just found this out. My Fletcher actually doesn't sell the arrow trade. So, we're just gonna have to get all of our arrows from the mob grinder instead. But yeah, we got a Fletcher now. Uh... I don't know I, if I should name him yet. But yeah, we got a Fletcher now, let's go. I wanna try and make this guy my master Fletcher in this town or this city here. So you can see why we have uh, the Fletcher now is because like, we have a lot of wood and I can easily make sticks to just get one emerald here. But I'm really shocked that he doesn't have the arrow trade. Uh, it's just kind of bizarre. But uh, yeah, we have a Fletcher now. But yeah, that was the Fletcher's Workshop. I hope you guys enjoyed. The next episode, uh, we are actually going to try and beat the dragon. So now we're kind of prepared. We have enough emerald trades to get enough ender pearl trades now. And we need to level this guy up to master at some point. But yeah, we're going to try and beat the game by hopefully next week. Yeah, that was like pre-nether update speedrunning how people used to do it. But yeah, that is the Fletcher's Workshop. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like on the video. It helps me out a ton with the algorithm. Uh, also, subscribe if you're new. And I will catch you guys in the next episode when we fight the Ender Dragon. So, see you guys then. Take care.